So right everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be talking about the 442 formation what I'm currently using on FIFA 22. So right, when using this formation, I think this formation is very good if you want to switch it up. If you are, if you normally play the 451 what I, which I used to do, the reason why I moved on to 442 is because I started to feel a bit isolated up top with playing one striker so what the 442 does it ease off the pressure for that solo striker away he has help now which means you have two strikers up there so there's not that much pressure on the one striker to do so much so what it does he has other options to play he can either play it back behind him or play it to the side of him now where he has a striker that is close to him so when using this formation in match mode what i normally like to do is my centre mid, so what I normally do, my left side of centre mid, he'll be the one that will be dropping back. And then my right centre mid, he'll be the one that will be joining in the attack. So if we do lose the ball, we will have this centre mid right here to cover his position and also help, which will also help and protect the defence as well. So right, let's go into the tactics. So right, when using a 4-4-2, with defensive style, I keep it on balance. So what this does, um, when you have it on balance, um, it will press the team and it also like to keep the shape of the team pretty much neutral. Width, I have on 45. Depth, I have it on 50. If I'll be honest with you, um, I probably should lower it down to 40, really and truly, because I'm starting to get exposed on FIFA 22 as everyone's starting to get more better attacking players which means they got more pace so depth we're going to keep that on 40 build up play be balanced as well chance creation will be forward runs the reason why i pull it on forward runs and not um possession is because the team's sitting deep so we want we've got two strikers so i want both of my strikers always running at my opponent's defense then we've got width, that will be 50. Players in box, that will be all the way to the end, which is 10. Then corners. If you see my corner tutorial video, you know why I don't have nobody in the box on corners. And free kicks, we have that on free bar. Let's go into instructions. So, my left side is striker, which for me is Henri. You can see support runs will be stay neutral, stay neutral. Support runs will be stay central. Attack and runs, it's target man, and interceptions are on aggressive. And defensive support is on stay forward. I do not want him coming back to help out in defence. Then we move on to my right side is striker, which is for me is killing Mbappe. Support runs stay central. Attack and runs. I've got mix attack. The reason for that is um, I like him to mix it up. I don't want him just to stay on getting behind target man or force nine. Um, I really just want him to mix it up, you know. When you're playing against a better opponent, you need to do different stuff. You can't always be the same situation. So you normally get red. So that's why I want him to always mix it up. Interception will be on aggressive. And then defensive support, you know, it stay forward for our strikers. Right, we're going on to our right side of midfielder. As with this 4-4-2, what I normally try to do, so basically how it works is I really want the whole team to be behind, to come back and defend. So that's why my right wingers, my right mid is on comeback on defence because when you're playing in Div 1, you kind of get, you need to be more disciplined in defence. So this is why he's come, this is why my right side of midfield is on comeback on on defence, chance creation, stay wide, support runs, balance, don't need to do no um, getting high, nothing like that. And then obviously for support and crosses, get into box and interception is aggressive. Moving on to my right sided centre mid, we've got attacking on support is drop him behind defenders. Why is, yeah. That shouldn't even be on that. That should be on get forward. So remember what I was saying. We want Jorginho to stay back while defending. 
and then supporting for crosses you know getting he has to get in the box as well so he's on getting to the box for cross and his interceptions on aggressive position free roam and his position and freedom is stick to position. I do not want him coming out of position. And obviously for defensive position, he has to cover the center. So moving on to my left-sided center mid. Like I said before, attack and support, I want him to stay back while attacking. You can have a, you can put him on drop in between defenders. So what that normally means is you instead of having um four at the back sometimes he will drop in between them so you end up having a back five but for me it will just be stay back while attacking then obviously everything else is pretty much the same as towards the right sided midfielder and then let's move on to my left sided so everything else will be pretty much the same as my right sided centre mid so all this will all be the same so let's move on to my left sided mid, my left midfielder. So right, which is for me, Lewis Zaha. He'll be come back on the fence. And pretty much it's going to be the same as my right midfielder as well. So all those settings will be the same. And then when it comes down to my left back, like I said, if you watch my previous video, it's pretty much the same as well with the 4-5-1 formation. Attacking runs, nope. Stay back while attacking for my left back. Interceptions will be normal. Run tight, mix attack. Yep. And then defensive position is stick to position. Yeah. And then with our centre back, you know, it's pretty much simple. Stay back while attacking. Normal interception and stick to position. Same goes for my other side, my right side is centre back. And then for my right back, it's going to be the same setting as my left back. Yep. So that's pretty much it for the 442 formation. Using this in FIFA 22, I suggest you use it, man. Um, if you're getting very predictable when you're playing against your opponent, um, you, you want something new, you feel like you're on a losing streak, you want to change it up, try the 442. I think it's a good formation, especially on the attack. It's much. I like it when you've got two strikers up there. I don't feel so isolated up top, but give it a go, man. So. Don't forget as well, man, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're growing, man. Subscribe to the channel. Just want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you next.